Good morning, people. Hope everybody's doing all right today. Plug it in my Facebook, folks. Plug it in my... I'm trying to plug in my Instagram, folks. What's going on? There we go. Let's try that one more time for the cheap seats. There we go. I finally figured out what was happening. All right, there it is. Hope everybody's alive today, doing well. Because we will need a drink. Because we're going to move with some good pace. What up, Rasta? You're supposed to be on the beach right now. So, and if you don't have a stool, just use a chair. You know, something that you can have here. All right? Activity tracker today. We're going to put it on functional strength training. If you have that setting, if you don't have functional strength training, go ahead and call it traditional strength training. It's okay. Either one. All right, so let's warm up a little bit. So we'll run in place. Excuse how dim it is. We expecting some rain today. We kind of get light on your toes. Get that thing rocked out. All right, let's twist. Twist that torso. We're starting a little bit later today, but the work we're doing, we're gonna lift a little bit, hit a little bit, do a little core, and we should be done right in the nick of time. All right. Bodyweight squats, spread your feet, a little bit more in shoulder width. And how you turn your feet may depend on how your shape, how high your skeleton is structured. And some people can squat with their feet turned that way, and that kills my knees. I have to turn mine a little bit out. I'm just built fun. Get that out. Poke that butt back, squeeze at the top. Just like this, get in there. Squeeze. Squeeze. Get here, activate. Lift from that direction. Shake that out. Let's step back into some lunges. Control. Weight on the front foot. Then switch. This is your time that you calibrate your muscles to get used to the motion. Put all the weight throughout your entire foot. Press that big toe on the ground as much as you press that heel. It really elevates yourself. There you go. One more each side. Here we go. Whoa, one more each side now. Let's go. All right, shake that out. 
Let's get into it. Hip openers, which I love these. Because they get me right here. There you go. Let's go. One more each side. And we are ready to roll. All right. Got my water. Give my quick sip. First exercise of block one. We are going to go goblet sumos. So, got a little 25 right here. You can use this for starters, depending on how you feel. I like to load the goblet sumo up here. Spread your legs, toes pointing outward, down, and push. And when you push, you're activating the muscle on the outside of your quad and that part of your glute. The one thing I do like about this is it takes a lot of stress off of your knee. Second exercise is going to be our glute bridges. When we go glute bridge, we'll get here on the ground and make sure you pay attention to how you load this and set your feet up. All right. What we do is we have weight right here on our pelvic bones, our pelvis, okay? We put the weight here, slight bend in our knees, we push our feet into the ground, raise that butt up and squeeze. When we're squeezing, so I can point, we're squeezing these hamstrings and these glutes, okay? Don't open your legs too wide. Have them a little bit more in line with your bottom to where you can squeeze and activate those glutes. The heavier you go, you should be able to squeeze and activate those glutes more, okay? But that is the move when we do that. We hold it for a beat and then we go down slowly, let that butt skim the ground, and we go back up, okay? So let's get this out of the way. Start the party. Sumo squats. 10 reps. Check the connection one last time. I'm tired of selling my Instagram, folks. Huh? All right, people, let's get it. Woo. Oh, my boy Lou modifying. Hey, nothing wrong with modifying. That's the main reason why we're trying to preserve these joints, because I'm sore too. Ankles bother me. I've been in a real intense program, so these are things that we can do to still work the legs without killing ourselves. All right, two more squats. Toes out. Weight right in front. Step it tight. We're going in three, two, one. Down and up. Squeeze that butt at the top. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Let's go. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good job. We'll sit that down. We'll go glute bridges. Now I am going to do this with 30 pounds today. But in a lot of cases, you can typically go heavier. Because your glutes are some of the biggest muscles in your body. And they can handle a lot of weight. But if you don't go heavy, I want you to at least challenge yourself with how much you squeeze that muscle. So watch how I lay my head down, rock the weight up and on my hips. Slight bend in the knees. If you have wide dumbbells like I do, you can push them together so they can move more as a unit. Feet in the proper place. Look how much I have my feet tucked. So I can push my feet in the ground and get myself off the ground. Ten reps in three, two, one. Lift. Ease it down. Skim back up. Two. Let's go. Three. Hold that stomach tight when you get up. Four. See if you can get higher. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. And ten. Control it to the ground. Get back up. And you'll notice when I shuffle my feet, that's me resetting my feet to the proper alignment to make sure that I can push through my entire foot as I get my butt off the ground. All right, so I'll stay with the 25 and the sumos. We'll move this here. We'll take our glute bridges up to 35, you know, because the glutes are very capable. When I get down into this wide, here we go. Going back to the goblin. If you got a bell, all you gotta do is, if you got a dumbbell, hold it under the bell. It's no problem. Feet out into the proper position. We're going in three, two, one. Squat. And that's one. I'll turn it sideways. Two. 
three, four, five, control, six, make sure those toes are in the proper place and have to reset, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten, sit that weight down, pulling over everything here, especially when we're going lighter, Blue bridges, get on 35. And as you go heavier, remember to bend those knees and never use that back to pick up that weight. Use your legs to pick weight up. Here we go. Weight to the hips, connecting the dumbbells in the middle. Feet in proper position. We're going in three, two, one. Push. You notice when I get my butt off the ground, my arms can go more straight because the weight is going away from my, my upper body. That's four. Five. Pull the beat, come down. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good job. Sit that weight down. Off the ground we go. Into our third and final set of block one. You can see, we're moving weight, getting good exercise in, but we're not killing ourselves. One thing you'll learn as you go is you don't necessarily have to kill yourself to get working. The burn is the burn. All right, because sometimes when I work out, it can be an intense workout, and I'm barely sore the next day. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, here we go. Sumo squats. We're staying light today. Coming from the front, 10 reps. Holding it. We're going in three, two, one. Good form. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good job. All right. Back to the blue bridges. Let's get it. Rep mine up the forties because glutes are very big muscles. Get my weight together. Let's go. To the ground. Ah. Get ourselves set. Here we go. Last set of block one. Let's make it count, folks. Get our feet in the right place and we're going in three, two, one. Let's go. That's one. Control it. Skim. Back up. Two. Let's go. Three. Push those feet in the ground. Four. It's going to be tight. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job. Woo. Get off the ground. Who's got a little fire in now? Block one is done. Now we can get the party started. Don't panic. Get that cool. Move into block two. All right, here we go. I move here. We'll involve. In our chair or stool. And what we're gonna do is a couple things you can do here, okay? We're gonna load. We're gonna do a seated squat. So you can see what I got going on. What we'll do, make sure I get myself lined up correctly. What we'll do is we'll hold the weight either to your side, but if you want a more of a challenge, if you can handle it, weight on your shoulders. Feet slightly bigger than shoulders apart. Put that butt back. Sit, okay? And when you get here, just get straight up. We don't want you, we don't want you rocking. Don't rock when you get up, okay? Don't rock. Put your feet on the ground. Lean forward like this. Raise up. That's what we're doing. And the reason we're doing this is to take, to get glute activation exercises in 
without putting nearly as much strain on the knees, okay? It can go a little bit heavier. Obviously, I'm not gonna use the 15s here, but if that's what you need, that's fine. Second exercise will be calf raises. You know how we do it. First set, we'll go regular, okay? Second set, we'll go with our feet turned in. All right, 10 that way. Last set, we'll turn them out, LeBron James style, and go up like that. My right ankle's bothering me a little bit, so that one on the out turn may be a bit of a challenge. So pray for me. Here we go. And remember, when you get on this stool, do not rock yourself up. Use strictly your glute muscles to get yourself off the stool, okay? We'll start in the stand-up position. Go to the sit-down position, okay? So we'll go down and then up, just like a regular squat. I'm going to my shoulders. If you guys stay here, that's fine. I'm going to my shoulders because it's going to work my core a lot more. So if you want core work, to the shoulders with the weight. Let it rest on top. We're going in three, two, one. One, sit back, here, come up, that's one, down, control, that's two, stomach tight, three, press those feet in the ground, four, five, six, let's go, ease down, seven, Eight, give me two more. Nine, last one. And ten, good job. All right, calf raises. I will stand here and do them. Feet in the regular position. We're going in three, two, one. Up, hold the feet. Ooh, man. Two, come down. Three, and down. Four. Five, hold it a beat at the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good job. All right. Okay, the set two. All right, open the challenge some. I'm going from 25 to 35. Load up and test myself. Wipe your face if you got to. I'm sweating pretty good right now. Look at that. We're not even moving crazy. And the sweat's pouring. Make sure you stay hydrated. Get a sip. So we'll do our seated squat. And then we'll go to, you know what? Let's go to the, let me say the inside. We go inside turn. We do our cap races that way. Here we go. Weights. Don't forget, you bend your knees when you pick that up. We go front load or side load. You can handle the weight. Here we go. I'm gonna rock that weight up. We're going in three, two, one. Take that butt back. Still leaning forward. One. Notice I never let myself get fully upright with my spine. Two. I'm letting my butt barely skim. Get up. Three. Four. Six, four more. Seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one. And ten. Good job. Let's sit that. Well, we can't sit it down yet. But you know what? I gotta sit it down and switch the music. Woo. Feet turned inside. Let's go. All right, here we go. Inside pigeon. In three, two, one. Let's go. One and down. Two and down. Three. Let's go. Four. Down. Five. Let's go. Six. I'm concentrating right now. Seven. Eight. Give me two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Good job. You can sit the weight down. 35 is where I'll stay today. 
So I'm gonna be able to take a quick break. We're not gonna last set. Woo. So you'll notice when I get into that squat, when I get here, I'm, I'm keeping my body angled this way. I'm never sitting this way because when you sit this way, you have the tendency to lean and boost. And that's not what we want. We want to load. Stay low. We don't want to unload. This is an unload when you get here in a squat. Stay loaded, keep your feet on you, and pick yourself up just like that. It's all about the engagement. If you raise your back upright, you're unloading the weight. You're putting it on your spine instead of your muscles. We don't want the spine to carry this, okay? Let's go. All right, we got the description. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go, people. Let's get it. Get your weights. We're gonna go, I'm going to stop top loaded with my squats again. And then we're gonna do with our feet, we're gonna do our calf raises with our feet in uh, that outward, or the yeah, outward position. I can't even talk. Here we go. Weight loaded. Control. We're going in three, two, one. Same. Come on, let's go. That's one. Two. Squeeze at the top. That's good, that's more activation. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more, let's go. Nine. Last one. And ten. Good job. Sit down real quick. Let the hands rest. I'll back this up for a minute. Feet turn out with cap raises. Do my 35s. Load up. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Up and down. Up. Here we go. That's two. Up. That's three. Up. Up. That's five. Up. Six. Up. Up. That's eight. Up. Nine. Up. And ten. Woo. Sit that way down. Block three. Here we go. And folks may be wondering, what exactly is the turn of the feet doing? Turning the feet allow you to use different parts of the calf muscle. All right? Turning inward forces you to use a lot of that outside part of your calf. Turning your toes outward helps you use a lot of the inside part of your calf. And a lot of times, we don't really make room for that. All right, folks. It's challenge time now. Third exercise. I'm sorry, third block. Two more exercises. Hey, we're gonna make good use of this uh this stool. So we're gonna try Bulgarian squat. When we do this, we rest this foot right here. Some people like to just have that foot right. Some people like to do it here, but whatever it is, have this front foot out far enough to where you can get down like this and go up, okay? Just like this. So we're gonna do 10. Each side, your upper body should be angled forward a little bit. It's really hard for people's range of motion to stay upright with that. So just lean a little bit forward, don't overkill it. Second exercise is gonna be a Romanian deadlift. You know what your Romanian deadlift is. Weight sitting on the front, hands at the hips, slide in the knees, down, poke that butt back, and raise up. Don't forget you. We've been doing these long enough to where you can get a feel for activating those hamstrings and glutes to raise yourself out of that deadlift, so let's do it. All right, so to make sure we take the pressure off the knee, we'll stay lighter with the Bulgarian squat, you know, because mastering the balance and the depth is a big enough challenge on the leg already that we don't need major weight right now. So especially if you're not ready, especially if you're trying to be considerate to the joints. Wipe down, got my 15s, 10 reps each leg. And your positioning is everything. Do what's a little bit more comfortable. And the reason this is called a squat and not a lunge is because we're not letting the knee go over the foot, okay? We're trying to keep the knee here more upright than anything. 
you know, or actually let me make sure I get the description correctly. We're trying to get down into it and we can angle forward, but when we come back, we're angling back, okay? We don't want that shin to be vertical when you step back out of the squat, okay? That's the difference between the lunge and the squat in this case. Ten reps each side. We're going three, two, one. Let's go. That's one. Two.
Let's get it, people.
focus on squeezing that glute to keep it stable. And once you can do that with confidence, then you move up. All right? All right, enough of that. It's time to talk now. Hit training. Three exercises. Three cycles. We are going to do 60 seconds of soccer run. I'm over here getting my clock together. You guys remember the soccer run, don't you? Let me see. Bam, bam. Okay, okay, okay. It turned yeah, out so to be right prison the capital of the Some world. The state of Louisiana has a higher prison rate compared to any other country. All right, so what we do, soccer runs for 60 seconds. It's really easy. Running, raising your feet. Like a tap on a soccer ball. If you can't run and do that, just keep this motion. Second exercise, catchers. The catchers, when you're down there, you can catch your baseball. Hands down, here, you back up and raise. Remember, if you can't do that, just get back into it. Get here, back into it. We'll do that for 45 seconds. Last exercise is gonna be what's called a cross climber jack. We'll go to the ground. And what we'll do is we'll cross. Cross, jack, jack. Cross, cross, jack, jack. And when you do this, make sure you keep your head alignment at a 45 degree angle forward. Don't get caught up in looking at your feet. It'll throw your equilibrium off. You don't want to do that. Look about 45 degrees ahead of yourself. Make sure that your shoulders are directly over your elbows, which are directly over your hands, all right? Flat back. We don't, we don't need this right here. That's not a move. I move is right here. So the burn goes out, in, just like that. Try to get some width with those legs and really make that core work, okay? Let's kick it off with the soccer run, shall we? We'll go through this three times, all right? Soccer run goes down. 10 seconds, get a sip of water. I forgot to give me a sip of water when I was talking. Four, five, four, three, two, let's go. 60 seconds, just like this. Try to stay light on your feet. And as I mentioned earlier, if you got soreness that you can't deal with right now, just walk into it, okay? Just with a good pace. We get the heart rate up. Let's go. Work the challenge. Come on. A little bit more than 30 seconds left. Come on, people. We got this. Stay with it. Tap, tap, tap. Try to get that knee and ankle up. It doesn't look like much, but it offers us fair share challenges. Come on. 15 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Woo. and rest. All right. Get set. 10 seconds, we're going to start the catchers. So, going to the squat, burpee, raise back up. 45 seconds of action. Here we go. We're starting in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Out, in, raise up. Out, in, raise up. Out, in, raise up. Out, in, raise up. Raise up. No, no, no. 30 seconds left. Raise up. Come on. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds left. Stay with it. Come on. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Woo! All right, last 30 seconds. We're going to go to the plank jacks, or cross climber jacks, sorry. Wipe down. We start at 10 seconds. 30 second run. We're going. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Cross, cross, jack, jack, cross, cross, jack, jack, cross, cross, jack. Jack, cross, cross. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job, folks. Get a sip while we're 
That's okay. Get down. Step. Step back. Raise up. Come on. Come on. 30 seconds left. Crunch it over. 
10 seconds. Front. Two, three. Two. Give me one more. Good job. All right, let's get to the front. Hip taps. Last exercise. We're going in five, four, three, two. Let's make it count. Let's go. Tap, turn, tap, turn, tap, turn, tap. Let's go. Tap, tap, come on. Almost halfway there. Tap. Let those feet roll over. Tap. Come on. Tap. Ten seconds left. Work those obliques. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, folks. Time is up. Woo! How you love that? Look, just lay down. Let's do that cobra stretch. Chest to the ground. Raise the upper body. Get the shoulders out of the ears. Stretch that lower back and that core. Press the top of the feet into the ground. Squeeze those glutes. Push out of that. Into a child's pose. Lay that down, stretch out your arms. Get to the ground. And push yourself flat. Feels good. Come out of that. Let's switch up our stretching a little bit. This is a, this is a stretch that I love. So you kind of put your feet in a bit of an S and lean towards the bend, the front of the bend. All right. This really helps stretch out my hips. I love it. So turn this way. Watch the switch. Look. Switch this way. Turn over. Do the same thing. Hey, shout out to my people for making it out today. Good work today. Hey, we didn't tax our joints nearly as bad, but the sweat is still real, as you can see. The muscles feel nice and exercised. You know, so we got the job done while keeping the stress off our body, all right? Or well, the major stress, I should say. Yeah, but we appreciate the group of game holding it down with, man. Our people all across the U.S., all right? Let's see. One leg back, the stretch going to get this hamstring stretch. Man, our people in California, Oregon. Texas, Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Indiana, New York, Ohio. Man, we love you guys. We appreciate the support. We appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. Switch legs. Look, every Saturday, every Wednesday, Wednesday at 5 p.m. Central, Saturday at 10 a.m. Central, we get down in here. I know everybody's waiting to go watch the draft. The draft may even be on. But if you took time out of your day to come enjoy this with us, I appreciate that. Let's sit back on that leg and stretch out that quad. You got, if you can lay all the way back, that's cool. I can't, I'm not that flexible. I can get up right here. But stretch out that quad. If you got some ideas on something you want us to incorporate, be sure to give me a holler. If you want to see a certain body part focused on, let's do that. Shout out to my girl Mandy for giving me the update and input on the core. If you notice, on that hit exercise, I hit you with a little bit more core focused things. Now, our list had a lot of core focus, so we worked in core than most people would think. But I'm all about rolling in ideas with the people that show up. Because that helps us, you know, kind of target what we want. You'll learn how to work. Look, and if you're ready to take this thing to the next level, people, I'm telling you, be sure to holler at me about the fitness and accountability group. We stream workouts to your house. We help you build a nutrition program that caters to your goals. We help you build an exercise program that focuses on your goals. And you can work out as little as four days a week, as much as seven days a week. Uh, workout programs last as little as three weeks, all the way to 13 weeks. So we got something that can accommodate your busy schedule, your needs. If you're a family person, you stay at home with the children, or if you're working from home, or you're traveling a lot, you can do all of this on the go. You have a stream to your phone, your computer, your Apple TV, whatever it is. We got you. We'll help you with the nutrition plan, and you get me. They help you with the motivation. Look, if the body you see here and the body you've seen in all my ups and downs, we've built in this house doing exercises just like this. If I can do it, you can do it, but I'm here to help you along the journey. Most importantly, man, make sure you check us out at hustlinggrizzle.com. Be sure to check out the shop. Get your fresh model too. Get your fresh Grizzle Gang shirt. Summer's coming around. Some new stuff will be dropping soon. Be on the lookout for it. Uh, check out the YouTube channel. And because if you missed this, you can watch the replay on IGTV, Facebook Live. But also check out the, the YouTube channel. Like and subscribe to that thing so we can elevate that platform. We're trying to get the mics up to our thousand so we can go live from there instead of making everybody go to Facebook and Instagram. We aim to please. So we appreciate you folks. Have a great Saturday. Don't forget to stretch and hydrate. Stay loose. Take it easy with your family. And uh, remember to focus on you. Peace out. Enjoy.